always really keen to open the book with a chapter about pleasure and pain. I think pleasure is one of the first things we think about when we think about our own mental health. And pain is a huge source of mental ill health for many, many people. So I was hoping that by delving into the biology of pleasure, I could show just how biological, really subjective experiences like laughter are. So in one really cool experiment, I didn't do so I'm impartial, they took a bunch of friends and they showed them comedy videos. And when you laugh at comedy videos, this evokes a opioid response in your brain, kind of like taking an opioid drug. So it's a chemical response in your brain that's dependent on social laughter. And the really cool thing about it is that what you might know about opioid drugs is that they're painkillers. And so is social laughter. So in the experiment, they also had people do something mildly painful. They had to do wall sits. If you're at the gym much, you know how annoying that is. And people were able to do it for longer if they had experienced this social laughter. And that was related to the amount of opioid release in their brain, which they measured with a brain scanner. So it shows that even something kind of so social, so human has this really cool biological underpinning.